A pioneering cancer treatment using a high-intensity ultrasound beam is undergoing trials at a hospital in Oxford. Scientists claim the new process, which doesn't require conventional radiotherapy or surgery, is a major breakthrough because there's no limit to the maximum dose that patients can be given. Doctors will soon begin trials using ultrasound to locate and destroy tumours at the Churchill Hospital in Oxford. It's the first time this method has been tried in the Western world. Some experts believe this is the way all cancers will be treated in the future. I think it may well be. I think it's uh, early days to say at the moment. Obviously we're intent on repeating some of the work that the Chinese have done. They've got quite extensive experience in treating over 2,000 people, but we need to uh, corroborate their data over here and uh, I think that in due course whether that's going to be a few years or a decade this will be the treatment of the future. At the moment surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy are used to destroy tumors but all can have debilitating side effects. The ultrasound is safe, quick and unlike radiotherapy can be used as many times as is necessary. One of the main advantages of the treatment is that it's non-invasive and there are no major side effects. Patients could also be treated on a daycare basis, freeing up valuable hospital beds. Ross Appleyard, Sky News, Oxford. More on that now. We're joined from Oxford by urologist James Kennedy. Good morning to you. Um, this sounds like morning. it's going to revolutionise treatment for so many people who have to undergo such terribly difficult um, forms of treatment at the moment. Well, we certainly hope so. Um, the, uh, the problem at the moment is that uh, for a large number of cancers, the only option, curative option, is, uh, is surgery. But, um, but with this device, hopefully for a proportion of those patients, um, we're going to be, off be able to offer an alternative. As you show us the machine which is behind you, explain to us how it would work. Certainly. Well, I think most people are familiar with diagnostic ultrasound. Most people um, have either had uh, or know somebody's had experience of obstetric ultrasound where we look at um, uh, babies in the womb. In the middle of this, uh, this device here we have a diagnostic transducer which does exactly that and we know that diagnostic ultrasound is absolutely safe. The difference that this device has is as you can see around the outside here there is uh, a much larger device and this um, operates using uh, higher intensity uh, ultrasound which carries a much higher energy level than the ultrasound beam. Um, that ultrasound is brought to a tight focus and at that focus that's where the tissue is damaged. Um, one of the ways that it's been explained, I've got a picture over here which I'll show you, but um, one of the ways that it's been explained quite usefully to me is most people will have taken a magnifying glass at some time and tried to uh, burn a hole in a leaf or something like that and if you put the leaf in front of or behind the focus you don't get any damage at all whereas if you hold it right at the focus then that's where you can see the leaf burning away. In a similar, in a similar way using sound waves here is the orange um, bowl ultrasound transducer that you just saw a moment ago and you can see you can focus down these ultrasound beams and you get this cigar shape of tissue damage in the tumour that you're trying to treat. Because that's quite a small volume you then have to uh, put lots of those um, uh, together to try and treat an entire tumour. But that's the principle on which this machine operates. I had ultrasound treatment... just the... I'm so, so sorry, Doug. I, I had ultrasound treatment 15 years ago on an ankle. Why haven't you used this before when it seems so effective? Well, the, um, as you said, I mean, the, the secret... The, well, ultrasound has been no secret. In the last 50 years, um, this type of ultrasound has been undergoing development and its potential was first recognized in the 1950s in the United States. But um, the problem has been that since then, the delivery systems haven't been up to it and they haven't been able to uh, uh, provide the, the sort of uh, ease of access and certainly the type of uh, imaging uh, that's necessary to be able to target these tumors accurately. You were talking about um, ther therapeutic ultrasounds for physiotherapy. Well, that operates with a slightly lower intensity and that causes some change in the tissue which um, help healing, whereas this actually is on a different scale of magnitude. The intensity that's carried in this ultrasound beam is much higher, but you only get damage at the focus and in between um, the transducer and the focus, all the tissue is um, undamaged and this is why you can use it um, without actually um, uh, needing to have any upper ceiling of dose as you get with radiotherapy. I'll just very quickly show you what we see on the uh, operator console here. 
there's nothing in front of it, so the, the, the image doesn't mean anything. But here is uh, where you see the diagnostic ultrasound image from that, that transducer in the middle. And we have a, what I can do is just click it over here, to, so I've got a before um, image. And on this one, if I was to start to treat, this marks where the focus is, so I know exactly where I'm treating. We can target it very accurately, and we know what, where we're going to get the damage relative yeah. to the things outside. The thing will move, and you'll see changes, and can compare it to Fantastic. the uh, beforehand, so you know what's going to happen. Thank you very, very much indeed. I uh, wish you and everybody Not who so. receives treatment with that all the very best. It sounds fascinating. Dr. Kennedy, thank you.